What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you an easy way to do a heated enclosure for your resin 3D printer. Let's go. So it's winter in Texas, which means it is getting down to a bone chilling 50 degrees at night. Where's my hoodie? Now I know that's not cold for like 90% of the world, but for resin 3D printers, they like to print at a much higher temperature. I have my enclosure set to 85 degrees right now, produces a much, much better result. So I knew that other people had solved this problem before and I don't want to reinvent the wheel. So I went looking on YouTube and I found a lot of really great DIY heated enclosures. I started watching the videos and then it kind of hit me like, dude, it's a hot box, bro. Like what? Like I didn't really want to spend a week and worry about programming an Arduino. Like not, not what I wanted to do. It's a box with a heater in it. Like, what? There's a saying, cheap, fast, or easy. Pick two. I choose fast and easy for this build. First thing I did is I got a, a heated enclosure made by Creality. It easily holds the Elegoo Saturn and any printer that size or smaller. These are really just grow boxes. So this is a small one, but if you need a larger enclosure, just look on Amazon for grow boxes. I'll have a link below to some uh, they make them very large. They're for growing plants indoors and they're really set up for this pretty darn well. And I think this is basically what, you know, Creality did is they just went to one of these makers and slapped their logo on it. Things you want to look for, just make sure you can kind of see in there what's going on is helpful. Make sure it seals up, make sure it's reasonably heat resistant. So that's the easy part. Again, a link to this one will be in, uh, below. I put a cool RGB light in mine for the video. So that's extra. So after the enclosure, next thing you want to do is get a heater. I picked up this really inexpensive Amazon basic ceramic heater to throw in there. Nothing much to it. It's a little heater. It's perfect for this size of enclosure. If you do get a larger enclosure, you might need to get a larger heater to, to heat that space. But for this setup, this is super easy. So the last thing you need is a way to control the heater so it turns on when it needs to warm up and it turns off when it reaches your set temperature. And again, this is a problem that's been solved before in the kind of indoor gardening space. So I picked up this guy uh, pretty straightforward, plug him in and away we go. The controller is a little goofy to set up. It took me a little time to work through the instructions and figure out what they meant. All I can say is you'll need to hit the set button a lot of times, more times than you think. But I got it set up and working and it's been working flawlessly for the past three weeks. I have no more temperature variation failures. I'm able to run my printer inside this enclosure that actually keeps down on the fumes a bit as well. It's a 10 minute setup guys, it's super easy. Links below for what you need. If you wanna see more awesome 3D printing, click on these links here, cause it's awesome.